Hello everyone, my name is Buster KOD from Pixabyte, and today we'll be taking an early look at the Showdown Effect by Arrowhead Games, the creators of Magicka. The Showdown Effect is a side-scrolling online multiplayer shoot-'em-up with all of your favorite action movie cliches from familiar characters to insane weaponry, and is slated for a quarter one 2013 release. There will be information on how to win one of the three Steam beta keys at the end of the video. As we sit here and wait for the individuals to come back, come back, we want to start the game. We're going to actually uh, talk about some of the awesome stuff that the game actually does show. Uh, not only can you pick multiple characters, so we have Dutch McClone, which I personally like. He has a personal shield as his ability. There's also Haley Sky. I'm not a big fan of her. She has a rocket boost, which uh, will launch her up into the air. Kind of the problem with that, well, I take fall damage and lots of fall damage. This game is like, if you want to jump up in the air, you need to pay the consequences of it. <laughs> I don't like consequences. They're hard. But what isn't hard is actually having a blast with this game. It's a lot of fun. It takes the kind of shoot 'em up style game and adds a little couple extra things to it that I really enjoy. What kind of hell hole is this? So our Dutch McClone is our Arnold Schwarzenegger action star. And we start out, of course, with a light machine gun and a katana. Using left mouse button, we do the main attack. With uh, melee weapons, you can right-click to hold and block. You see the yellow bar right under my character. That is our block bar. Red will be our health. And blue... Oh! Hey! I'm explaining things. And blue is going to be our special meter. And you can see right here, I started glowing uh, yellow. That would be my special ability. Which, well, gives me... Oh my goodness, there are people everywhere. Which gives me a personal shield for a little bit, as I mentioned earlier. Now, the thing about this game that's awesome... Not only can you parkour everywhere. Oh, no. Well done. Send them a nice. Um, you actually have to aim the cursor right over them. They have to be in the cursor to actually hit. Even if it's right in front of you, if your cursor is not on the enemy, it won't hit. So it adds a little extra skill and depth into the game, I think. Oof. Now, it's like, okay, well, you're using a machine gun against katanas. That seems a little unfair. Uh, although it does have really good range, um, as you can see this guy has a shotgun, the katana pretty much is a one-shot. So if you're really good with the melee weapons, you can kick a lot of butt. Okay, now that they're done fighting, I'll try and pick them off. Oh no! <laughs> nice! See? Katana from the back. This is a kind of free-for-all uh, match right now. You can see in the bottom right the different scores. It actually... Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, we got him! Nice. We're going to... Reload by hitting R, and if we can match up the line with that little white space, we'll actually reload faster. Holding B will actually heal me up. You can see, there you go. But it gives you a lot of, uh, oh nice, he has the Neo Jacket. I'll go into that later. It actually gives you a lot of vulnerability because, well, you're sitting there and people can just tear on you. Oh nice, we got two kills out of that. Very cool. Okay, now we have a pizza box, and what we can do is block with it. <laughs> you can see the yellow bar go away. Okay, see if we get oh. Oof. Okay, let's not fight that. <laughs> the pizza box is uh, not a very good attack weapon, but it'll actually be really amazing for blocking, as other items like shields and even a pillow can be. Okay, you know what? Actually, yeah, I shouldn't be fighting this. I should be healing. Let's see if he'll come down here. You can also pick up other weapons like the wrench, uh, this knife right here. You can throw them by holding shift and then clicking your left click, which is your main attack, or even using it to swing like a regular weapon. So there's a bazillion different weapons in the game. Yes, a bazillion seemingly is a, a real number, at least in my fantasy world. Oh, no! I have no more ammo. I'll teach you a lesson. Oh, that, that was not the right button. We can roll with uh, A and D. And we can actually run and jump into people and incapacitate them like that by hitting left alt. Oh, no. He's doing the same thing to me. How dare he? Oh, nice. We we're able to get a good hit in there and uh, finish him off even though we have no ammo and we've already wasted our personal shield. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. He has a gun. Let's see if we can get him up here. But it's this is a very fast and frantic game normally uh, with even team-based modes. And free-for-all modes, right here being another free-for-all mode, which seemed to be very popular. Oh, man, we're doing really... I've never really used the katana before. Oh, no, I can't probably handle all of that. Oh, no, I can't. 
<laughs> you can see a couple of the characters, even though we're all Dutch McClone for the most part. I think there was a couple of the Kung Fu guy. Uh, I'm not aware what his name was. Um, some of them look different. You can actually use the AC, which are the points and currency you gain from playing matches, and unlock new customizable uh, items, and also, which are cosmetic, they don't have any effect that I know of, uh, new cosmetic upgrades that can change the look of your weapon, so once again, cosmetic, so it doesn't really add uh, abilities or stats, and you can also unlock new weapons themselves. Using my shield right there helped out quite a bit. Okay, someone spawn over here. All right, the one thing that I kind of hope is added with the final release, once again, this is a beta still, so they're going to add plenty of stuff, uh, would be... Oh, nice dodge, Glade. Nice dodge. Um, will be uh, support for controllers. Because I know there's usually support on games. Ooh, nice. Um, usually support on games like this, but being a beta, I at the moment, at least on my PlayStation 3 controller, I wasn't able to use it. Maybe on a 360 controller for the PC, you can. Um, okay, now we have a showdown imminent right now. That means it's going to be a sudden death. And we pretty much have to put out our best showing there. Like the painting actually going down too because of that. Now everything goes to living heck pretty much once this happens. Oops, use my shield again. Darn it. <laughs> so the rain in the medieval level that I actually really like and been playing on. This is the first time on this level. Dragons attack. Everything gets lit on fire. It's really cool. Oh no, we went down. Not the easiest game to commentate over as we play. But you get a little bit of uh, your statistics on the bottom right. We're actually doing pretty well. The Siamese guy or gal actually uh, kicked our butt this time around. But anyways, the graphics are really cool. I've never had any frame rate issues. The team-based modes are crazy because they're super frantic. Last man standing a lot of times where you have to kill all of them on the other team before the they can respawn, having longer respawn timers as you die. There also will be... Um, once the game is fully released, new characters, more levels, four different free-for-all team-based game modes, along with free-for-all and team-based, that's what I meant to say at least, <laughs> and uh, solo and team matchmaking, the ability to create custom rule sets for your games. Oh, oh, and the... That was amazing, actually. <laughs> um, so you can have, like, just maybe a pistols-only match in your game, which I think is pretty cool for some of us that really like things like that. Also, the ability to access and stream through Twitch TV, which is the big, hey, we won, nice, uh, the big stream site. So that's really, really cool to have built into the game. So we're going to get our rating, who got the last man standing, and then also the amount of currency we were able to pick up. So 225 in this case, which we can then go to our unlockables and unlock the shotgun, the pistol, the RPG, the weapon skins I told you about. So our katana can be an energy blade instead if we want or even wearables. So we can equip our guy with some aviators, tank tops. The one guy had a Neo coat from the Matrix. Really cool stuff. All of this stuff will be expanded even more once the game actually releases. So if you're interested in supporting the Showdown Effect in Arrowhead Game Studios, check out the information in the video description below. If you'd like to try win a, to win one of the three beta keys redeemable on Steam, all you need to do is leave us a comment in the comment section below. And finally, to keep up to date with me and my side projects, follow me on Twitter at HJTenchi. As always, everyone, thank you very much for watching. My name is Buster KOD, and I will see you next time.